Hello everyone, my name is Daniel and I run a web shop in Denmark that's called uh, Nordic Anglers. By the way, we ship worldwide. Um, today we're going to tie a, a bit of a, a strange ragged looking fly. This is the up and down brown. Um, basically this is a fly we have developed for fishing sea trout and salmon upstream. Um, it's a fly that has a lot of different components that works really well for this upstream fishing. The reason it's called up and down is because uh, we fish them as I said upstream and then they sink really fast so they are down in the face of the salmon and the sea trout. This way of fishing and the style of fishing is, is something that has, has been very, very productive in Argentina for sea trout and also uh, have been used a lot in Iceland for salmon. So it's, it's, it's a technique that, that is um, proven um, and I had, uh, had some, some nice fish on, uh, on flies of this style as well last year. Um, but this year is, is the year where I'm going to go all in with this type of fishing. So if you're fishing for trouts or for, for salmon anywhere, I would urge you to bring some of these and to try this technique out. Simply, if you, if you, if you see a good spot where, that should hold a fish, cast this upstream and then when you think the fly is close to the fish, basically start stripping so the fly moves in these movements uh, faster than the current. This is a deadly, deadly way of fishing. Um, and, um, and now we're going to tie one of the flies you can use for this. This is the up and down brown. Here goes. Now we're going to tie the up and down brown. Um, the first thing we need is of course a hook. Um, um, you can use uh, any of the uh, any of the uh, jig hook, but uh, I like that Arix actually produces jig hooks that are quite big, bigger than than what you see from a lot of the other uh, fly hook manufacturers. Um, and uh, and and this is I think this is a six or in four, I can't remember. Um, but, but you can of course tie this in, in, in any size that, that you like. Um, I'm gonna use a fairly large tungsten bead for this one. Um, and in order to fit my tungsten bead in this fairly large hook, I had to, to, uh, to remove the barb, but that's okay. Then we're gonna apply the, the tungsten bead. And I'm, even though this fly is gonna fish upside down, it's gonna fish like this in the water, and we're gonna tie it uh, the normal way because uh, basically that's easier. I'm gonna take my tying thread, apply some of that to the hook here, and then I'm gonna move the uh, tying thread into a bit into the into the into the bend of the hook. Then we need to uh, to tie the tail, and for this I'm gonna use some red marabou. Um, I mean, this has a lot of components from a lot of really, really famous patterns. It, it's, it's kind of reminiscent of the red tag, it's kind of reminiscent of has some of the elements from the Brenda, it has some of the elements from the Tilda as well, um, in, in the color scheme, but it's just, these colors are just, in general, really, really awesome for, uh, for sea trout and, uh, and salmon in particular, so why not use this uh, color scheme for the nymph as well? Um, there we go. This is too long and I find that this is a fly intended for the low water conditions in the river so, so we do not want this fly to be too big and that's why we trim down the, the tail here. It still has a lot of movement in the water but it's, it's not as long as, as, as for let's say a woolly bugger or, or something uh, like that. Then we need a pair of uh, rubber legs and, and I like these, uh, these fairly fairly barred uh, silly legs for, for the fly here and we're gonna tie one on each side there we go and then I'm gonna cut away the rest of this and I'm gonna put it off to the side because we need this for uh, for the for the next couple of, of rubber legs this is gonna have six legs in total and these should be uh, on each side of the uh, of the marabou tail, but ideally they should be a bit on top of the uh, on top of the hook. So so it's gonna it's gonna look like basically like this when it's when it's done and it sits in in the water. So every time you move this, the the, the legs will really be moved out into the current and uh, and make a lot of a lot of movement. There we go. Then we need a hackle, and for this we need a brown uh, rooster hackle. That 
feather there look perfect. Um, and this is gonna be kind of to make this fly more more buggy and uh, and also to uh, the, the the stiff hackles here from the uh, from the uh, from the rooster will will make this um, um, uh, influence the sideline of the fish quite a lot more. It it will make some noise in the water. The the rooster hackle here. It will not look. It will not be uh, very dense, but it will still have an impact because it's it's relatively stiff. Um, then we need to tie down the ribbing. Um, and for this, we're gonna use uh, some Opal Mirage Flash in, uh, in medium. Just tie that on top here. This is not a fly that's intended to be great looking on Instagram. This is a fly that's intended to catch a lot of fish. Um, so it's, it's, it's kind of a ragged and shaggy looking fly, but uh, a lot of the times those flies are actually the flies that catches the most fish. So, so um, as I said, this is not <laughs> the prettiest of flies, but it is damn deadly. I guarantee you that. I'm gonna take uh, some of the dubbing now, and this is the Samo Supreme dubbing in uh, in rainbow. A really, probably one of the dubbings that we sell the most of in the shop because it's used in the Brenda and and in a lot of other uh, really, really. Um, famous Danish sea trout patterns. So why not use it for this one as well? Um, it's a it's a nice color scheme and it, it it it's really really fluorescent so it's 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 a great option for this as well. I'm gonna tie the dubbing so it's gonna be a, about halfway down the uh, halfway down the uh, the shank and then I'm gonna tie down the next pair of rubber legs. Again, tie them so that they are pointing out from the from the from the body, but but uh, again a bit backwards, and then I'm gonna move the other the, the 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 two ends of the rubber legs all the way up towards the beat, because we're gonna use those uh, as the final pair of, of rubber legs. I'm gonna take a bit more dubbing. So this is not a technical difficult fly to tie, but there are going to be a bit of a bit of maneuvering when we when we turn the turn the uh, turn the rib and also the hackle in a second because we have to fit that in between all these uh, these rubber legs. So it's going to be a bit of a of a hassle to get everything just in place, but it's not that is the main difficulty here. Now we have the rubber legs just perfectly, perfectly aligned. Just a bit more dubbing, and I'm gonna tie, turn this this small amount of dubbing in front of the uh, the the front part of the legs here. Then we're gonna turn the rib, and this is gonna give a kind of a segmentation to the body. Um, it's also gonna gonna really really give a nice shoe. Uh, to 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 the pattern here, but again, since we have to to take care of the uh, and 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 look at the uh, at the actual um, uh, legs here, then this is quite difficult to get the uh, the rib to be completely even distributed and with exactly the same space in between. But again, that is not the function of this fly. The function of this fly is to catch a lot of fish. Um, and 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 the rib really has uh, adds something to the to the pattern here, and basically now we're ready to turn the hackle, so I'm going to do that. But um, but the main goal here is to make something that is is going to catch as many fish as possible, and and that sometimes um, will have an effect on on exactly how perfect the uh, the distribution of the of the rib uh, on the body and stuff is is going to be because. Well, basically, as I said, this is intended to catch fish more than it is intended for Instagram. It's probably gonna be on Instagram as well, you know, but... Um, but I like flies that fish better than I like flies that look good on Instagram. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the thread for some reason came off, but I think... I think the nuts were there, and everything is going to be tied down at the base of the uh, of the of the beat here. So it's not that important to use varnish. It's going to be quite difficult to get some sabagab in there. Um, 
see one of these is a bit too long also the others here are a bit long so I'm gonna cut those a bit down in length and basically there you have it the uh, the up and down brown this is a deadly fly as you can see here, we have the finished result, the up and down brown. It, it has, as I said, all of the different color schemes that, that has been proven highly, highly deadly for, at least for the, the, the Danish sea trouts and, and salmon. So, um, so this pattern is, is, is going to be one of the patterns I will carry in my box always, um, because it can be... Um, this where fishing can be the deciding factors on on days and on on spots where you normally don't catch a fish if you do this you you can you can be sure that your fly will fish really really um, far down in the water column exactly where the the, the trouts and the salmon are resting um, and and as I said this way of fishing is something that that needs to be spread out to more fishermen and more fishermen needs to try this out because it's highly effective so um as always, I would like to thank you, yeah, that's right, just you out there, for uh, for watching these videos. And uh, if you haven't done so already, or if you have already, then please swing by again at uh, for Nordic Anglers um, and get some of the stuff that you need from us. Because um, basically, if you like the videos, then the 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 reason we are able to do videos like this is because of the support from people like, well, you. So thank you very much for the support and. Um, yeah, all there's left to say is I wish you all the best of luck out on the water.